YouTube. What we're going to be looking at today is the Corbu A4 seats and how they fit in a C3 Corvette. And this is a 1979 Corvette, as I explained that in my last video. So we're going to be looking at how the fitment goes in there, how I fit in there, and just giving you some ideas of what to expect if you purchase these seats. All right, guys, so why the Corvo A4 seats? Well, I like the seats as far as the performance. They're very comfortable. They'll hold you in place. Now, if you've ever sit in any of the C3 Corvette seats, you go around a turn, you're going to slide around. There's no side bolstering. They don't hold you there. And that does perfect the performance. If you ain't able to stay in your seat, you're not going to be able to control the car very well. Now these seats come in two different widths. They come in the wide, which is roughly a 42 inch waist I believe. And then they have the normal one which is about a 36 inch waist. Now these are the normals. Now the 42 inch seats I do not believe will fit in this car. These are already tight to begin with and if you try to put in something that's a couple inches wider, you're just not going to get it in there. There's going to be too much rubbing, it's going to be too tight of a fit, and the seats aren't going to be able to move around. I did not get the bottom seat cushion shaved the inch off of it, which was resulting in me sitting slightly too high for a good driving position, to the point where my head is close to touching. Take this turn real quick. So, ideally, what you want to do is when purchasing these seats is you want to make sure you get the inch off. That'll put you slightly lower, that'll put you in a really good driving position. Uh, as far as rubbing, you do hear a little bit of the seats rub. It's not terrible. Now, the question comes into play, would I buy these seats again if I had the choice? I would have to say yes, but there's a caveat to that. I would say that if I was going to buy these seats again, a couple things. One, I would get the bottom cushion shaved, so it's an inch lower. Two, I may or may not go with the leather. Now I really do like the leather, but it does get warm. Uh, the suede it sounds kind of interesting to me, but that's kind of a toss up. I won't, I'm not sure with that. So. All in all, I really do like the seats. They do look good in the car. They're comfortable. I've been on long road trips, a couple hours in these seats and never had any issues. They do perform well. They really do hold you in. Now there are a couple other options I didn't mention previously about these seats. These seats do come with lumbar support that you can purchase. Uh, I did not purchase it. It's basically a little pump and you just squeeze it and it increases the lumbar support. Very basic. I didn't see a need for it. And honestly, it's not really comfortable the way they are. I wouldn't change it at all. I don't need that. Uh, it does come with the five point harness cutout if you wish to get that option. I wasn't planning on putting a five point harness into this car, so that is an option I skipped out on. Save a little bit of money. It does have the cutouts for a four point harness, however, I don't have the whole bar back there to set it up correctly, and I also want access to my trunk still, so I don't want to eliminate the versatility and utility of that trunk by putting in a four point harness and getting it in the way. With these seats for now two years, and take a look. They don't show anywhere at all. There's a little bit here on the corner from climbing in and out. But other than that, these seats don't wear. Very comfortable. The questions you might have is how well can you access a trunk? With these new seats, you don't have as much access as the old ones. The old ones were able to lay flat. You could put anything in the trunk easily. You could get things out and in. You could lay things across the front of it and really get a lot of storage, golf clubs, whatever you like. Uh, if you're familiar with the 79 Corvettes, the back window does not open up. So you have to reach through the cabin in order to access the trunk. So on the side here on the seat, it has a lever you pull up on. 
and the seat will go forward. And that's about as far as forward you can get it. And you can see the glass T-top I have back here. You can just slide it right out. So access to it is not overly difficult, but you're not going to find it as easy as you would with the stock seats. So what's the advantage of these seats? I would say the comfort wise, far more comfortable, more supportive. Going around a turn, you have so much more control of the car because you're not sliding around yourself, you're held tightly in the car. Some disadvantages, it puts you a little higher up in the cabin. You don't have as much room as seat adjustments as far as forward and back and leaning back. It's more difficult to access the trunk and because the seats are a little bit larger, the seat belts have to stretch a little bit further to get around you. So I've had some problems with larger passengers having trouble getting the seat belt all the way around and clicked in. Guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I try to put out this content as often as possible. Uh, unfortunately, there are limitations on all, how often I can get to this car and make videos. So. Let me know what you think guys in the comments below and have a good day.